let's see here. How's that, guys? All right. I'm going to talk. You guys chat. I'm just going to play around here on my gel plate. Uh, I got my 8x10. Maybe we'll start with the transfer. Photo image thingamajiggy transfer. Those are fun. Fun to see if I can get it working. Oh, this is a good one. I know this one will work. I've done this one before. This is a, a photo I took at the pond here in, in uh, Jamaica Plain where I live. So for this, I'm going to use the black. I'm going to use this new black uh, Mars black that I got from... What do you call that thing? This um, hippie crafter. Can, is that better, Becky? The plate's fine. It's nice and warm, Mariah. All right, let's give this a shot. It's only paper, right? You don't need a lot of black to do this. Normally I use the Liquitex one because um, that works well for a lot of people I know. I know Yolande uses that, um, Diana Bell. I just don't want a heavy layer. And we'll use my Baron here. If you guys love this Baron as much as I do, you should go over to Anthony Cody's Etsy shop. He's got some really cool ones. Yeah, that camera loves to move. I don't know what it's doing. Stop migrating. I think I'm moving my table too much. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm laughing because I'm looking at the um, the screen while I'm doing this, and it's all moving. Okay, we got a transfer here. While this dries, I'm just going to say hi to everybody because I didn't do that, and that's kind of rude. So I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to do it Mariah style. Okay, here we go. Hi, Ann Lar, Arlene, R Curious. That's Miriam, Barbara Clark, Becky. Hey, Be Be Becky. Belinda, Beth, Bruja, Charmaine, Chris, Mo, that's Cookie Wookie, she's a mod, Crafting House, Kitty Jan, hello, Darcy's, Misadventures with Mixed Medias here, Dana, Debbie from Australia, Yoland, Estella, hi, Evie, love, hi, Rhonda, Jamie, Joanne, Leslie, Linda, Lydia, Marguerite, Mariah, our PM Art Studio, Paula from the Netherlands, Penka, Renee, Robin, Sarah, Sammy, Zandra, Serenity Studio Art, Sharon, uh, Silver Granny's here. Hi, Lynn. Sonia, Stacy May, Stitch It, Susan Anderson, Terry A, and Diane, the Messy Palette, and Trish. Hi, Trish. Hope you're doing well. Okay, if I didn't say hi, it's because you just popped in at the last second. Okay. Did I do that fast? Like Mariah? I can take over for her. Okay, this one's almost dry. Do you guys want to pick a color to pick this up with? Maybe two colors? Two colors? You know what? I finally got this replacement from, what do you call that place? Hippie Crafter, it's right here in front of me. Um, so I want to use that. What color should I uh, pick to go with this one? <laughs> Hi, Tommy. How are you, buddy? I hope you have a great new year. All right. Ooh, this has the plastic on it, too. Okay. So we do the emerald green. You want, to do, want me to do gold or teal? Do, 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 do. Orange. Okay, we're gonna go with orange. I like that. That's just out of, out of the box. Here, I've got this orange yellow. 
Mariah, do we want the orange on the top or the bottom? I want to do the orange on the bottom. You guys with me? I don't know why this camera likes to move like that, but there you go. That's my jumper. This thing is sensitive. All right, let's give this a go. This should be dry, is it dry? Yeah, that's pretty dry. So while I'm doing this, I want you to know that I've posted um, my collage prompts over in Makers of Mixed Media. Um, that's run by PM Artist Studio. And also, all the other events going on have been listed. And they are the color combo with, that's uh, hosted by Carrie Griffiths and Miss Paula, who's here in the chat. Um, then there's the Scrappy Swap or the ATC Swap. That's Rhonda and Becky. And then um, Mariah's Creative, Maker's Creative Collab. Freshen it up. Um, am I missing one? I think I got everything. So I'm going to set this aside to dry, but yowza, yowza, look at this. That's pretty cool. Good call, Mariah. Let me just give this a nice rubby down because it doesn't want to stick. That's already coming up. That dries fast. Oh, good call, Estella. Estella. Good call. Um, should we do it to studio light? There we go. Let me see if I can zoom this in. Okay. There we go. Hopefully the camera won't move anymore on us. Been a zoomy out, zoomy in day. And back here, got my other plate. This one, let's see, let's just do some color and some texture. I've got some new papers here. These are, got these on Amazon. I really can't read what that says, it's weird, but. They're different um, texture papers, and um, you know, let's play around. Take this off. Hi to everyone coming in. I'm so happy you're joining me. I know it's only for an hour, um, but you know, that's all I can handle really right now. <laughs> an hour of fun. Ooh, that's a nice one, isn't that? That's really cool. But I want something really textury. What do we got here? Ooh, let's play with that one. We can play with that. I see roses here. Fun. This one's cool. All right, we'll play with these two for now. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's pick a color, one color, any color. Uh oh, I like this one. This is a um, this is amethyst from Deco Art. Let me look at the chat real quick and see what y'all are talking about. Oh, Paula, you do? See, we're totally twins from birth. Thank you, Becky. I love this thing, it's cozy. Um, we'll do a little 
purple there, and then maybe a little, where's me other purple? We'll do this one. This is a transparent purple. It's prism violet. Well, these papers, um, I just looked up collage papers on Amazon. And this is, where's that little thing? Here we go, the belly band. I can't really understand what this says, but if you want to screenshot it, that might help. Um, yeah, I don't have the info in front of me, but you just go into Amazon and type in craft paper or not craft paper, but rather collage paper or textured papers. They'll pop right up. There's like a bunch you can choose from. Um, and different colors, variety, size packs, all that good stuff. Let's do a Patricia here. Ooh, I like that. Have you guys been over to Makers, Creative uh, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists? If you're not part of that group, then you're missing out a lot because we do have a lot of fun over there. We uh, do all kinds of prompts and we support each other and we're very, very loving. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll come back with another color and pick that up. Prism Violet, no, Prism. Prism. P-R-I-S-M, you guys are silly. Okay, let's see here. I think this one's ready to pull. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me give it a little wiggle for y'all. Do you guys like that? Very cool. Nert Violet, you guys are bad. So, do you want me to do another um, image transfer? I can do that. I would love to do that. Let's see. I have a colored one here of the subway. Let's try this. This is the subway up the street from my house. So, but besides the black, I used other colors to do a photo transfer. So let me see, maybe we can do, I wanna do something. Hmm. What about, I'm gonna try this uh, blue. This is uh, primary blue. Barbara, I'm using, um, today I'm using this paint right here. For the last transfer, I used um, the Hippie Crafter Mars Black. And um, this is a semi-transparent. The other one, I don't know, it wasn't, it's more opaque. Um, but you want a thin layer of paint to get the transfer. little bit more I hope you guys are enjoying this I'm just glad to be hanging out with you and that we finally got this stream working earlier today I was trying to chat in Janet Young's uh, live stream and YouTube just would not let me and I couldn't figure out how to fix it and I was just so worried that this live stream would not work but I said some prayers, I did some meditating, and guess what, we're here, right? Um, I haven't used a metallic to transfer yet. I haven't tried that, we can try that today. Sorry, that buzz is my, probably my computer, my, uh, my desktop. 
it's been running all day because I've, I've just been really busy doing all kinds of stuff on there, like paying bills and trying to figure this out. Shut the front door. That's a good one. That's a really good one. And look at look at the picture. That turned out cool. Okay. Now with the laser print, uh, you can use it again to do a transfer. Um, it just has to dry completely before you try it again. But there you go. So let's let that dry. Let's see how our other one's doing. That's dry. Shall we do another layer and then let's do um, some more texture on there. I have some other stuff to play with. Is Tracy LaBeouf here? I don't know, but she was very sweet to me and she sent me these cool things to make marks with. This is uh, starfish. We got a fishy fish and then just like pebbles. So maybe we could use these. Oh, um, I rubbed the paper. I, I wouldn't say a full minute because it's not a lot of paint, but you do want to make sure it has good contact all over. Um, and I tend to kind of peek in the corner to see how it's going. And if it is not really looking good, I leave it down for a couple, for a few more seconds. And then I will um, pull it. It doesn't always work. It will work um, in certain conditions. Now, it is not humid here. Um, and it's not necessarily dry. So I think that's why it's working. It's like it's actually really cold in here. But it's hence the sweater and I'm wearing my Puerto Rico hat to keep me warm. My room is literally above two boilers. So if I were to turn the heat on now, I would be roasting and everything would dry way too fast for what I'm trying to do. Uh, no. Uh, here, let's do some of this, this PBO blue. This is a blue uh, iridescent blue green number three five seven. Are we buffering? Are you guys buffering? Huh. Okay, it says it's good. I hope we're okay. Yeah, when I gel print, I put paint just random places and then just you know go for it by the way I am self-taught I a self-taught artist I do not I've never taken a class outside of you know grade school because that's as far as our art classes went um, so you know this is all just me learning myself and watching other people. Let's see. Oh, that's not too bad. Look, these are a little slippery. But I think we can make it work. Mm. Oh, that, that one worked. That one worked good. And these stones. These are like those smooth stones you find on the beach. Oh, that would work really good. Let me move the camera down just a little bit more. There you go. So there. Do that here. And I have some different papers to pick this up with, but I'm going to let this dry and then I'll pick it up with um, a different color. 
and let's go to the other plate. There's a commercial? God, I hope they don't put a commercial in here. Oh, okay, yeah. Buffy. <laughs> um, all right, what color should we do the subway? Hi, Wendy. How are you? I won't do my Australian accent, Wendy, because I, I don't want to embarrass myself, but one day I'll show you. Ooh, that's nice and dry. Now, maybe we'll do a couple of different colors here. Let's say I'm going to do the yellow up top. This is... You think I should pick it up with black? No. This is a mid-yellow. This is one I really wish I um, I had some smaller brayers to do like, you know, little sections, but not yet. Oops. The 24, 2024 budget is still being reviewed by corporate. Let's do this rose. This is nice. This is the Windsor Newton rose, uh, permanent rose. Of course, of course, it doesn't want to open. Well, there we go. Oh boy! Oh boy! So. What is everyone? What did everyone do for New Year's or New Year's Eve? Anybody get really drunk? What's P yelling at? Why is P yelling? <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Oh, I love you. Hi, Patricia. How are you, my love? See, Darcy knocks over like papers and stuff. I knock over bottles of paint everywhere. They're usually half on the floor by the time I'm done. Um, and let's do, no. I'm just looking for a color. Let's see. Ooh, lime green. Just try not to mix it in with the red too much. may work this may not this is still this is dry already that paint dries fast so I'm gonna leave this to dry for a second and then maybe pick it up with um, uh, uh, one color because if I try to pick it up now this won't come up this is all dry right here and see what I mean like some of these paints dry a lot faster that's why it's important to like play with your paints because if um, because of situations like that you want to kind of understand the behavior of each of your paints and even even like the other paints in this same group will have different properties of you know drying time and all that good stuff so you know play with your paints get messy okay so for this one let's say oh of course I put my fingers through it it's still a little wet let's pick a color for this one what color do you want? Mm. Let's 
see what it looks like from the other side if I can. This is this one doesn't have a plate, so it's hard to to do. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Oh, I've ruined it. Look, see, don't do what I do. Let it dry. Mm. Okay. So, you know what? Let's go set this to the side. And I've got my little plate here. We can do some small prints. And notice how clean my plexiglass is. I spent the weekend scrubbing and scraping these guys. Yellow green. Okay. I like that, Barbara. We'll try that on the other one. So for this one, what do we want to do? Let's play with these textured papers. I like this one here. And then we'll do some quick pulls. I have some, this is some, no, not that. This is some textured paper as well. Let's see if this will work on the plate. I don't think I've ever tried this this kind of paper on here. I think it's a type of mulberry paper for sure. But let's see if we can do a quick pull with this. Good job. Um, I want to play with some colors. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a solid color and then I'm going to do something different, a contrasting color with this. Mm. Here, this is alizarin crimson. This is a Lucas Krill Studio color 4666. It's uh, semi-transparent. It's a beautiful color. If you're into murdery, you gotta pick this one up. Okay, let's see if I can get a, a pull off of here. This paper may rip, I don't know. We shall see, where's my tissue? Hello to everyone coming in. I'm so happy you came. I'm really excited you're here. We're just playing on the gel plate. And I gotta keep an eye on the time. I got about 28 minutes. I just have to keep an eye on that clock. Because I do want to show you all the prints we did at the end. Which one? We were talking about Mariah. This, the, the pink. Yeah, if you haven't hit that thumbs up, come on. It's free to do. We're not asking you to, to build a, a skyscraper. Hit the thumbs up, man. This guy needs some help. All right, let's see. How are we going to do this? So I want to do gold on there. What do you guys recommend? I put this on here. Get some gold. I'm just going to do the gold over. This plate I have right now is a 5x7 um, from uh, Gel Press. All my plates are from Gel Press. Fun. All right, let's give this a go. Pray it don't stick. Uh, come on. Yes, Malia is up next, so make sure you head over there right after me. Ooh, look at that. Newbie to your channel, Eddie. Hi, Bootsy. What's your real name? I don't know your real name. You're, you're new to me. Hey, 
It's not a stencil. Um, this is actually from um, a pack of textured paper that I got from Amazon. It's got mulberry paper and different textured papers in there. Roy. Hi, Roy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for every, everyone who's here. I appreciate it. So that one's lovely. We've got some cool stuff left on the plate. Let's do... I gotta clean this off here. Yeah, this gold paint that was. Um, let me show you that gold paint. This is uh, Lucas Krill, uh, four six one two gold. Um, it's a transparent and it's beautiful and it dries quickly. Um, so just. You know, be aware of that. Let's see. That paper. Set that to the side for a moment. And this one is this the one that y'all suggested? Uh, green. That lime green. I have a lime green. Um, or, you know what, I'm going to do this emerald green. I've been waiting so long for this paint because when I first got it, um, the box of Hippie Crafter paints, this particular color was, um, arrived completely solid. I, I didn't save it. I wish I had. Um, and I thought it was just like some at the top that had dried out, but it was actually the entire bottle so they were really kind and they sent me some more hit a thumbs up if you like my color choices um i i love my colors i use all the colors like darcy was saying I don't mind being bright and bold. I don't mind being wacky and just trying different combos out. Um, one of my last videos, I did that. It's the one where I use this textured um, packaging to create texture on my prints. Okay, this is Carnival Tissue. I'm going to let that set on there and... And dry. Hopefully this will be dry by the end. Yeah, I think we got plenty of time. The, the paint I'm using, Anina, right now, um, that particular one is by Hippie Crafter. You can find these on Amazon. And um, I have a set of 20. It comes in a box. Really neat box. Um, hi, Tracy. I play with your little, your little um, things earlier. They're on here, but this has to dry. Right. So this one we need to pick up and yes, yeah, something, maybe something solid. What do we think? I think, I think it was Lynn who recommended um, that buff buff titan or something like that what about arctic blue arctic blue mine too it goes to uk please will you ask eddie later tomorrow please paul I think the UK needs to improve their Wi-Fi. Jeez. Don't worry, I, I, no, no paint on the jumper, so we're all good. I think Becky said she was worried about that. I was doing, uh, use, it, I had the sweater on in a video and I was doing all kinds of painting and I had some issues. 
but I didn't get any paint on there. Hi, Sue. Are you down in the Cape? Oh, I, I saw that late, Mariah. Darby. <laughs> That's right, Legia. It's an Arctic white. Yep. It's your camera. It's your it's your screen, Mariah. It just looks blue. It's really white. Kind of looks pop art. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, you did, Malia. That's awesome. I, um, yeah, no, I was born and bred in Boston. Um, I lived in many different places. Um, let's see. So at the age of 21, 22, I left Boston. I moved to Memphis, Tennessee, and I lived there for a couple of years. Then my work took me to Atlanta for a couple of years. And then my work there took me down to Florida where I was in uh, Broward County. Well, I lived in Boca Raton for a while, Delray Beach, and then moved down to Fort Lauderdale. Um, I was there for about eight years. And then I moved back and went to school to become a chef. And I did that for a little while. And then I, other stuff happened. I didn't want to do it anymore. Okay, so those two larger prints, they're going to dry. They need a little more drying time. Oops, oops, don't do that, Eddie. Okay, so what we got here. I can organize my stencils. I wasn't planning on using stencils today, but you know what? For sugars and giggles, I'm going to use a stencil. Here, this one is Atomic Asters. This is from PM Artist Studio. And I'm going to go over it with the paint. On top of that, this is 5 by 7 Long Island. Wow, Sandy. That's awesome. I lived in Queens, New York City for four months. And uh, I was working at Bloomingdale's uh, on um, in Manhattan. Uh, but yeah, I, I wasn't ready for New York. Thank you, Paula. Or New York wasn't ready for me. I don't know. What do we got? No, those are my metallics. Where's my solids? No, I'm not that one. Here, I'm going to use this bright aqua green. Great stencil, isn't it? Okay, set that aside for a moment. Let's see how this one's doing. I have a feeling this one is going to be a little poopy head on me. But I'm going to pull it. 
but yeah, I think it's going to be a little poopy head, but it might turn out kind of cool. Got some fun stuff to play with on the plate. Look at that. These, the splotches, they look, the white bits look kind of like intentional splotches. But you know what we can do? Let's spray it a little bit. A little bit. How about... I'm going to come in from the back side, as I am known to do. No comments, Paula. This is uh, Distress Spray in the Salty Ocean. Oh yeah. Once that dries, that'll be really cool. Just gonna go around and just dab a little bit because don't need puddles there. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Let me hold it up for you. Very cool. All right, so you are gonna go over her. Face. Let's check on this young man here. This is the orange line for those who don't know. Uh, that is on carnival tissue, yes. That was carnival tissue. Oh, oh I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one. Da, da, da. Can I get a drum roll, please? Pretty much, yeah, almost everything. And I got some uh, little blue there, that acrylic, uh, that uh, metallic blue from another. Oh, that's awesome. Very nice. Put that on Instagram. I will. I got I, I think I learned how to clip my video, and so I'll do that on the Insta. I love it. Yeah, so this is the subway line here, uh, the orange line here. This is the station Jackson Square. Maybe I'll contact them, see if they can hang it on their wall. They have, um, this particular station um, has a lot of uh, local artwork that they've decorated the station with. It's pretty cool. I'll have to take pictures and post them one day. It was one day I was taking a walk down the street to the post office and, you know, walk to and from. And I took um, several photos for Paula because she's she's like, what's, what does your town look like? And I finally got around to send her some pics. I sent her some cool pics, I think. Interesting stuff. Very artsy neighborhood. Um, very, very cool. So how about, let's try this. This is uh, a gate that goes to the back entrance of the house. And this is when we actually would get snow here in Boston. I don't remember the last time we got snow here. All right, I've got 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to... Do, 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 do. Let's get some paint on here. Let's go ahead and use the Mars Black again. Oh, Colleen, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much. You're so awesome. Sure, this brayer doesn't have any extra paint on there. Patricia, um, 
Carmichael, my brayer is a lot like yours. And um, so, you know, it's cool. All right, I think that's thin enough. So lay it down. Someone asked earlier how long I rub it for. I just kind of, you kind of get the feeling after you do it a few times. And just kind of give it a nice rub. I can use my bearing if I wanted to. And let's give it a, a check. Okay, there we go. How about that? Now, I'm gonna flip it around. It looks kind of cool that way too, right? It's this heavy iron gate and I kind of don't like it because it slams when it's really windy and it's right next to my room. So stuff on my wall just shakes and tumbles, but okay. So now that one's drying. Let's see what we got here. This one, yeah, this one still needs to dry. But it's really cool. I like how it, it it's turning out. So this is what it looks like from from what you will see once I pull the print. The gold. That's a good one, Paul. I, I should totally do that. Okay, so. Let me see here. You know, this is this is pretty dry. Let's pick out a color. What color do you guys want me to see uh, on here? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Que color? Hi, Christine. Welcome. How are you? Shall we do some metallic? We can do, 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 do. I've got gold, I've got copper. I've got this awesome, uh, the iridescent bronze fiend from Golden Fluid. Um, Julie, I don't, I don't have a lot of alcohol inks. I just have a couple that I've, I've made myself. I use the distress inks, but I don't have really any alcohol inks yet, so I don't have um, I don't have um, any to play with at the moment. But I would do it. I love how Devin uses her um, or Yolande uses the alcohol inks on her plate, makes beautiful papers. I wasn't intending on doing transfers today, but. They're working out good, so why not? Now you might be wondering, what's this mess going on here? That's just the paint crazing. Um, I just conditioned my plate, so there's a little, you know, it's got the uh, mineral oil on it. So it gives it that that crazing thing and how about we use this to kind of mimic what's going on in the photo let's do some this is carnival tissue I don't know if I made those marks strong enough for them to show up. Yes, I use um, laser printed images. I've tried uh, inkjet, but they don't work. <laughs> you get them in, on Amazon in a pack. Ooh, look at that. You can't see the little pattern. I'm loving that. Kind of spooky looking, right? Yeah. 
If you have a FedEx near you um, that has like a, one of their full stores, they do laser prints. Um, uh, staples, yeah. Um, who else? Sometime, yeah. And I know like I ordered mine on FedEx.com and there's a local store and they delivered them to me. It was like, just, I couldn't just make it. I couldn't make it out there to get them printed and all that. So but there you go. All right, we've got four minutes. Let me let that dry for a second. Let me show you the other stuff that we made. And don't forget after this, Malia's on. So uh, if you can drop that link in again for Malia's live stream, please. Um, so everyone can go over there after this. Okay, so this was the first one. I freaking love this one. And it, like the way the paint came out, it looks like, like a kind of like a bridge back there or something. Very nice. Um, oh, and then we have our tissue, this fun, funky one with the different um, textures on it. And I can't really see the other stuff. A little bit, like here you can see part of the fish, uh, starfish there. See a little bit. But I'll post these in Makers and probably on my Instagram and you can see them up close. And then I sprayed it with um, distress, spray, distress Spray to fill in the, the nooks and crannies of white. And then we did this one on some mulberry paper. And that is um, alizarin crimson and gold. And I use uh, this to create that pattern, this textured paper fun this is this is the pack that I got of textured papers there's all kinds in there and if I remember I'll put a link in uh, the description for the video so you can check it out uh, oh and finally we have the subway which I think turned out really really well I, I was kind of mm, not so excited about it but I really like it. I really like it. Okay. Can we pick this up now? I think this one's ready to go. So this is going to be my final pull. Thank you so much, everyone. Ooh. Looky, looky. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. How about that? Uh, so thank you guys for coming in. Uh, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I have a bunch of videos there already and um, I would love to make more, but I need more subscribers. I'm almost to 1700. I'm trying to catch up with Darcy, but she just blew me out of the water. But <laughs> um, I hope to get there soon. So um, share the video, share the live stream and um, you know, help a brother out. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you soon.